Greetings everyone! Your host Get Out is welcoming you back to this hard mode playthrough of Transport Fever 2 where we are trying to establish a transport empire in the United States of America. Before we begin episode 17 of this journey I would really appreciate if you drop me a like and if you want to follow the series subscribe to the channel. And now let's play! Guys I am sorry I have been delaying the episode the episodes for a while because I actually recorded this episode uh what was it like now four or four days ago around Sunday I actually ended up not liking it very much and then I wanted to experiment with a few things and my experimentation became uh I, I would say big and I didn't make much changes initially but then they started like adding up and i can't wait to actually show you so uh it's not as big as before but it took me a while so uh i hope you enjoy it i did not change the station design like i did last time i just expanded it maybe you will not be able to see it here in boston but you will see it uh in the next city which will be new york i think yep so, uh, yeah, I guess this is how Boston looks like. Uh, it's pretty much the same. The station as well. But a few things have changed. And I will show you right now. So, we have, first of all, uh, one more um, residential public transportation line. And you will see that these uh, are the same. So, they go directly from the bus station. To the station which is in the district in this case is the commercial one in this case the industrial one of course and i have the same lines for residential one which is more or less downtown so at least it's starting to be and residential two but one more thing that i actually added is uh internal lines so what's the point of this uh, initially, I tried to add the internal stops as part of the residential lines, but that didn't work because um, pretty much the majority of people just waited on the first stop, which was the direct route to the central bus station, and no one wanted to take the trams to the commercial or the industrial district. So why do I do that? Well, if you come here or click on the city and then on destinations, you will find out that um, you have destinations inside of the city itself and unfortunately for me very few people are actually using the public transportation and I wanted to give them a chance to do that actually let's play the game while I'm speaking uh, so yeah so now I have two internal lines one from this residential stop and one from that residential stop and basically what they're doing is I will show you so they start from the residential stop, they go to the commercial district, and then they come back. And then from the residential stop again, they go to the industrial district and come back. So the point of this is, as you probably already know, to bring the people directly to where they want to go. And in this game, residents travel from residential districts to commercial districts, from residential districts to industrial districts. So yeah, I hope this gets some traction with time. It's yeah, I guess doing stuff. <laughs> we'll see how it's going to go with time. But for now, it appears that it's transporting some people. I think it's a good idea. Ah, also another thing. Um, for these lines, I actually decided to go with buses. Because the trams were uh, too expensive and too big. I didn't have that much traffic for the uh, internal lines. So yeah, that's it. And each residential stop needs to have um, an internal line because the residents might want to go there you will see here yeah this one we are losing a little bit of money but maybe it's going to get traction with time so yeah that's it that's for boston um i think the city has not changed much but there we go okay and now the big review of uh, the expanded station design mind you not changed so if you remember previously, it was um, the first four rows were the same. And then we had the pass-through line. And then we had the cargo uh, station on the other side. Ooh, yeah, these guys 
they are going to stay there forever. Um, yeah, so what I have done, the first thing I did was the first four thing, but then we have four in the middle with also a junction here for um, 160 meter long trains. So this is four sections of the station. That's 160 meters. There is four section here. You will see that it's uh, longer in the middle part. And of course, we have the pass through rails as well over here. And the other thing, the first expansion is four more on the other side for incoming traffic coming from, in this case, Washington. So the idea of all of this is the following. So my trains are obviously traveling on the right and I want them, if they're coming from the right, to go to the right and then to continue forward. I wanted to avoid as much as possible because it's not absolutely avoidable to have um, trains that are crossing uh, the junctions, like the X junctions that I have uh, on both sides of the station with the idea to, to have faster uh, trains. The other thing as well that I did is uh, I made the connections more uh, realistic, I guess, more like real life. Not only that, I have attempted, and I think I achieved it in the majority of cases, to keep 120 kilometers per hour as the incoming speed, which is going to make uh, trains much faster and they're not going to stop that much in the uh, sections of the rail before the station. As you can see, this guy is traveling with 100 kilometers per hour and he's yeah going to go into the station right now. Going to take this one. No, this one. Okay. As you can see, we're very fast and just in the last possible moment, he's going to start slowing down. And it's going to stop at the station. Perfect. So yeah, so uh, that's it pretty much. Uh, I will show you how the lines are working right now. I have done the same uh, 120 kilometer uh, exit on the other side as well. So you can see this guy is also very fast entering the station. Ah, and of course, um, we have the cargo um, on this side. And by the way, uh, with this design, I also have one extra terminal here if I end up needing it in the future, which is possible because New York is currently at 1200 people and it might grow, I don't know, fourfold and we will need a lot of trains. And also I have uh, not one, but two cargo platform uh, platforms on the station with four terminals in, uh, in total with the idea that uh, I I think I will have, especially for the bigger cities, a lot, a lot of uh, cargo trains coming to drop their products. So yeah, this is just in case if it's necessary, as you can see, I have not built it, at least not uh, completely. So yeah, um, that's it for this station. Um, I will very quickly show you, I guess I, I also changed the public transportation here a little bit. So uh, let's check it out. I mean, there is still five of them, but yeah, what do we have? We have uh, one commercial coming here to Manhattan. We have the other commercial coming here to this side. Uh, this is probably not going to stay here for long because I think uh, expansion this way is going to, we're going to have to destroy some of those uh, buildings, but that's for maybe another episode. Okay, we have the industrial one going over there and first residential and second residential and of course the internal ones uh, as you can see they are traveling to um, from a residential district or residential stop to industrial commercial commercial to all of them and here as well so that's it oh that one is cute yeah i didn't see how it went there yeah so uh Oh, oh, they are actually using it. Look at that. That's super cool. You know what we can do while well, we are already here? Let's uh, give them one more vehicle here. Actually, did I check here? Yeah, in Boston, not that much, I guess. I guess it doesn't make that much sense for the 
Boston people. They had a name in uh, America. I'm pretty sure they called them something, but I forgot. Um, okay. New York commercial. The train is full and we have already 25 people there. I don't know. Let's let's give it some time and then we, I will come back and review all of this. Yeah, as you can see here, <laughs> not that many people. Maybe there is more people living here. Yeah, I guess because of the tall buildings. Anyhow, that's it for New York. Let's continue. You will see a, pretty much the same station design in all the cities. Washington is uh, uh, similar here. So we have the fast entrance here, fast entrance there. And the um, at least the blueprint of another cargo platform and two more cargo terminals. This is how Washington looks like right now. Uh, let's see, we have commercial here, industrial, one and two residential ones. And again, we have an internal here and an internal there. And that's it. Uh, here, I don't think I need any more uh, vehicles. Looks pretty good. Maybe I have too many, actually. Because I think I gave them at least the residential ones, at least two. Yeah, maybe they need only one, you know? Hmm. I'll have to come back and review after some, some playtime. All right, let's uh, jump to Charlotte. Charlotte Station. Again, you can see not too many changes here. I mean, here as well, the rails haven't changed much, so I don't, I don't think I should uh, spend too much time doing that. There's more exciting changes uh, coming in the uh, Florida and is it Georgia, uh, Georgia area, I think. So yeah, uh, what's going on here? Let's see. So we have commercial, industrial, and in this case, one residential. I think it was too small to have two, but maybe in the future I will add more. Um, and of course, we have one internal line over here. I don't see too many people uh, waiting around. Maybe the commercial one has a few more than expected. Yeah, this one is doing good. Okay. Uh, okay, so after Charlotte, let's uh, let's see Savannah. This is how Savannah looks like. Savannah doesn't have much space to grow other than th on this side, which is unfortunate, but we'll see how it's going to go. Mm, actually, do you know what we can do? We can give Savannah a little bit more space to grow. There we go. Hmm, maybe even here, why not? Can I take it? Please, game. Thank you. Let's give it some time, some more time for sure, but space <laughs> in this case. Okay. I think it still looks very nice without being too pressured for space. Okay. Um. So let's see how Savannah is uh, doing. So we have commercial industrial and residential and as usual the internal one i don't know if you want me to show anything more here there is nothing special it's just uh, a line uh, a lines for public transportation which actually don't have too many people neither okay let's go to tampa oof yep that has to be uh, managed uh, so Tampa, Tampa has one commercial, one industrial, and two residential ones. Maybe it needs another one, but we'll see with time. And each residential has an internal line as well. There we go. That's it. Uh, here, Miami. Miami has grown a lot on this side. Oh, you know what? I think... I think this lake or whatever it is, is uh, it's going to be dried out. What do you guys think? Do you agree? <laughs> well, I'm doing it nevertheless. I hope you agree. Because we need this city to have space, you know. I don't remember Florida having a lake that big in the middle of the state. So I don't know why it's here. Oh, 
we will have to cover the sun. And I should not have done that. Okay. At least this time it worked better. Goodbye, sun. No more reflection. And... That's it. Okay. Let's hope Miami has uh, enough space now. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, that's a few. So one commercial, two commercial, and three residential ones. Okay. And unfortunately, each of them has to have... Not this one, but this one has to have an internal line as well. Going in all the stops. Yeah, I don't see two stacked stations. I think we're doing good. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, okay. Let's let's give it at least one more. Uh, I will check later with the station statistics, but uh, I'm already here, so why not? Uh, what else have we changed here? Nothing much, I guess. It's looking good. This as well. Okay. And let's continue. So we have to see... I think we saw Atlanta. Yeah, so let's go to Panama. Panama as well. You can see the big station design. I know... Uh, I, I thought it's going to be more interesting when I present it, but it was just a lot of work and repetition of stuff. I guess it looks the same <laughs> now, but it, it was necessary. I like it a lot right now, and it definitely works as I expected. Especially, um, I found a super cool mod which gives um, signals priority. So we are going to start using it, and hopefully I will achieve what I wanted, meaning to have my main lines be the priority ones. You see, passing very fastly through the station. Here we also have the internal ones. A little bit longer in this case, but I guess shouldn't be a problem. How are these guys doing Panama? They don't have many destinations, but Panama, I guess, is very small, right? Yeah. Um, let's continue with Nashville, who is going to become the first fully grid city. Maybe Atlanta as well. More or less. But Nashville, certainly. Uh, Nashville has one commercial, one industrial, and two residential ones, plus internal lines. I don't know if you want to see something more, but I guess this is not the most interesting part, although it took me a while to figure out and to set up. And New Orleans. Uh, yeah, New Orleans is... Uh, changed a little bit you can see probably i don't remember how it was before but i definitely made a lot of changes to the city itself here because it was becoming terribly ugly so commercial here commercial there so commercial i guess is going to grow and i don't want to have residential here because there is a lot of emissions from this port and two residentials and as usual with their respective internal lines Hopefully residential is going to stay there and grow on this side and industrial here so that I can keep them from the emissions from the train as well. But I can manage that with time. And last but not least, somehow I really love Houston. We have Texas. Is it the capital? I don't know. Uh, commercial, industrial and two residentials with their respective internal lines there we go so that's it that's for the public transportation and the cities themselves um all the stations are super similar ah maybe with um atlanta is um built up with the second one because of these uh, guys you know and in the future goods factory is going to require a lot of trains as well but yeah this is still losing money i mean seriously okay um in any case that's it for <laughs> sorry about that uh about the cities there is a few changes here you can probably notice um the hmm, the rails have changed uh quite significantly now uh, we still have that bridge but it's not with the um, 
mod. It's built naturally by me. We have the connection between uh, Atlanta and Savannah here as previously and the main line from Charlotte to Panama. <coughs> we also have a connection from Charlotte to Savannah because it's necessary and another one from Charlotte to Atlanta. You can see here, here and there. We also have I already spoke about that. And one mo more thing that I changed is the connection towards the Stone and Locks station in Atlanta. It's actually <coughs> 120 kilometers per hour as well, or 17 in places, but that's okay. So the trains are going to be very fast coming in. Uh, or not, because... Wait a second. Huh. This is weird, no? Why is it 96 here? How weird. So this is 121, but this is 96. Something is wrong. Now it's 80. 96. And this is 121. No idea. Sometimes the game is acting weird. Maybe it's because of the switch. Who knows? Um, yep, so that's it. Another big, big change. There is no more station here. Um, actually, let's take care of this. It's this one. Strength, I need it less strong. Let's cover this old. This was the rails here and there was a station. Okay. So now we don't even need a station anymore because our... Savannah Central Rail is actually covering the oil refinery, which is great. And our line is now passing through here. And then goes directly to the uh, Southeast Distribution Center. And from there, look how amazing this is. And from there, it makes... Uh, ah, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's over here. And then we make the big turn here. And then we have a connection that passes through... Atlanta and then we go back to the oh, not from here sorry from here to the cargo rail in Savannah and we don't have to go through the X junctions super cool I think at least I love it I don't know about you but I find it really really nice and yeah that's it um this connection here I think I'm not even using it yet but that's going to change Okay, okay, okay. I think this is the changes here. Yeah, we also have these rails here uh, connecting from Panama, making a really nice fast turn towards Atlanta. And here in Nashville, I also changed a few things. Uh, you can see that we have the normal connection here. It's possible that I will build one more so that we can have a connection towards New Orleans, but I will see how it goes and do I need it. Um, that's it, I think. I don't think... Ah, no, no, there is more. Of course, there is more. So you will also notice this port over here and the lack of a train station. That's because I realized I don't need that. I can just use ships. And that's better because that means less trains and less um, uh, traffic jams. Traffic jams? Train jams? I don't know. Tra train traffic jams, yeah, <laughs> congestion in the Southeast Distribution Center. And right now we have offshore, what, which one was this? Offshore one, bringing its uh, crude oil directly here. And offshore two as well, bringing its oil directly here. And then the guys from offshore one are also taking oil. To the distribution center cargo port center cargo port and there to the center itself to be delivered to the refineries and i think i like it a lot here you will also find out that i had to put some waypoints uh, the reason for this is that i don't want the ships to create too much emissions here for the residents of new orleans and i don't know why but they have like a gigantic area of uh, effect 
I, it just doesn't doesn't make sense to me. I mean, neither do the trains because half of a city they can affect. But you know, I actually saw a mod. I have to investigate it. Uh, says something about making emissions a little bit more realistic. But yeah, um, I think these are all the changes. Pretty much with the rail. Uh, and now I will have to show you the lines so let's start with the first one that i set up that was the uh, commuter service rail east coast from boston to miami let's observe it from afar there you go that's it so it starts here in uh, the boston central rail the first terminal uh, is assigned to it and it can take all the alternatives here travels only on the right as you can see comes to new york only on the right Again, it took the first uh, terminal over there. Then we continue. We stop at Washington. And there is no um, blocking from other trains, which is just amazing. And when we get faster trains, this is going to work even better. And then we go to Charlotte. Here we take the turn towards Savannah. In Savannah, we are on the right again. And then we go to Tampa on the right again. And then we end up in Miami. And that's it. Ah, and also from Miami, we go back to Tampa. So these stations are added because I want to have them uh, both ways as we had before. But uh, it was separate lines for each city, which was, I think, kind of crazy. We can achieve exactly the same thing by doing it this way. And there we go. So now uh, the only problem with this setup is that if between two of the cities, there is more traffic than others. Uh, I will have to just have some emptier trips for the other cities, but that's it, guys. It cannot be perfect. Finances are amazing. And while we are here, let's see if we can do something about this line. So there is four people here. You see there is 573 people there. 282 and 439 and one of the reasons for this is that i have not finished setting up which one is this 226 i have not finished set setting up the intercity rails and i have to do that and we can do it together in this episode so yeah this one probably needs more uh, or not more in this case but bigger trains because currently the setup is the following we have 12 stops and 12 trains and they can go up to twice the size actually you know what let's do it right now i know it's going to cost some money but let's do it awesome now we have bigger capacity hopefully we will start uh, cleaning up these people that are waiting there so yeah that's the first commuter service from boston to miami there is more uh okay this is here should be right yeah so the other commuter service that i have set up is the um, southeast clockwise setup uh commuter service uh in this case it's passing through savannah clockwise this is this is the opposite i guess the naming is wrong <laughs> sorry about that let me see yeah yeah um i think i so this is the clock and it's going that way which is wrong and no this is this is counter clock so it's going this way no no so this one is wrong i guess i have set up the other one wrong is that the problem because yeah this one is going wrong right it's against the clock so the idea anyway i will tell you what the idea is the idea is to make a circle when i also expand through uh, Oklahoma and austin i will have a circle passing through all of these cities here which is going to keep the um, trains in only one side and then we're going to have another clock another clock <laughs> another circle but in the opposite clock <laughs> which is going to uh, circle them around in the other direction Okay, so the counter clock, it appears that is correct because they are moving on the 
on the right side. Coming here, coming to Nashville. Actually, Nashville is probably going to be included. We will see. Uh, but for now, it's it's necessary. Um, ah, yes, yes, I remember what what I did. So, so yeah. So when when it end, uh, when the setup is finished, it's going to continue from here, moving to the right. It's going to move to the right. It's going to move to the right, and it's going to be on the right here. You see, that's it. And then it's going to continue being on the right, exactly like this. Okay, so I guess the other one I did not... Ah, no, it's fine. And it is... It, everything is correct. What, what am I saying? Yeah, of course. It's coming this way. And it's traveling on the clock. So I, I did it properly. <laughs> so it's going to move here. It's going to be on the right, as you can see. On, still on the right. Still on the right. It's going to uh, go to Houston. And then it's going to be on the right here as well. And then we are going to come on the right of Atlanta and in Savannah. And that's it. That's the two uh, clocks that I'm going to have here. Two clocks, the two circles again. <laughs> and um, yeah, that connects um, all of the cities in one big line, which is great. Actually, I think that one also, yeah, the counter clock definitely needs some more. Counter clock here, here not that much. Maybe there is a little bit of more traffic between some of the cities, and that is because um, other than this um, commuter service lines, I have set up only one. Let me remember what I set up. So I definitely set up this intercity service. You can see from Boston to Washington, and then Savannah. And then it's Miami, and then it's Savannah again, and then it's Washington again, and goes back to Boston. And it travels, as you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, through the middle, sorry. And then in Washington stops over here. See? It's beautiful. And then we go to Savannah. And in Savannah stops on the right again. And in Miami it doesn't matter. And here it stops on the right side. And we continue forward until Boston. So that's great. I also set up New York's East Circle. So New York is going to be part of the following circle. New York and then Charlotte and then it's going to be Atlanta and then Nashville and then the circle is going to come to Pittsburgh, I think. And then somewhere around here I'm going to have a connection with uh, New York. So I was thinking that I will open a rail here and one branch is going to go to Canada. And one is going to connect to Pittsburgh. It didn't make sense to me to... Because also the, the mountains here are a little bit lower. So realistically, a rail should pass through here. And not through the highest and widest part of the mountain. At least I think so. So yeah. Um, for now, the East Circle is set up in a way that I don't love. But it, it is what it is. So... So goes from New York to uh, Charlotte is the second stop. And then Charlotte goes to... It doesn't even stop in Atlanta, which is weird. I think I should add Atlanta, right? In this circle. I think so. That, that means I'm not going to have a direct line with Nashville. But I can also add another commuter service between them. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so Charlotte goes to Nashville. And then Nashville is going to go to Pittsburgh and New York. And there will be another one in the opposite, uh, in the other direction. But right now they're coming back just through here. From the purple one, as you can see. Okay, and I think... Yeah, I showed you this coast. I showed you the um, circle one. And I think that's it. I don't have anything else set up yet. So I definitely have to set up a few more lines. So I have been thinking about uh, what I have to do. Okay, let's let it play. Um, so, I have a few ideas. Uh, Miami is one of the cities that needs to get some connections, certainly. I will start with the easy ones. Uh, Miami needs to be connected uh, with Savannah and with Panama. But this is not easy if I don't want to have some return trips as well. Another thing it has to be connected to is Atlanta. So, I think that's going to be very easy to set up. 
it's not going to be part of any like longer route or anything like that unfortunately but yeah it is what it is uh okay now let's do it so let's start a new line come on can i click the button thank you so let's take miami and let's go to atlanta okay so uh, we are going to call this uh intercity rail and it's going to be nothing special actually because it's just going to be miami to atlanta for now maybe in the future it's going to grow who knows we'll see uh here in miami you can take so these two are taken four and then you can take all the everything from three four five six seven eight from three to eight perfect okay and then let's go to atlanta but but i want to see how you're going to go because look the best thing about my setup is that we can go through here and i certainly want you to do that so i don't see you doing that where are you yeah you're crossing from there which means that you want to come here and then go back which is not acceptable so let's give you a station. Mm, can I put some waypoints here in the station maybe? Or just, just to use this. I don't think I'm going to move this one. But just in case because I don't want to break things up. No, not this. Uh, where's the waypoints? There. Waypoints. Okay, let's have a waypoint here and we can just put one more on the other side. And where is my... Uh, yep. At the station, and now... Okay, and now you're going to pass through here. Yeah, that's correct. Can I open this line and not have all the other ones? And then you're going to come here. Amazing. And from here, not definitely not that. You're going to continue to, the, to Miami. So, uh, manage, and in Atlanta, and I always, always start when they're coming from the right with the furthest terminal possible. So this one is taken, so we're going to take uh, 13 in this case. I don't know why the game is lagging so much. And then I think it's from 11 to 16 here. Yeah. 11, 12... 14, 15, 16. I really don't know why it's lagging so much when I'm doing this. Perfect. And that's it. We are set up with Miami and Atlanta. And I like it. Maybe this is going to continue uh, being with some other cities. But um, I don't know yet. All right. Uh now the other connections of miami oh of course <laughs> i mean that's not everything guys uh give me a sec let's give it let's start with uh i don't know two trains two stops two trains right so let's buy two and let's assign them to miami atlanta okay I like it. Our new trains are coming. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, what else can we do? Uh, we can connect. We can connect more cities here because I have. I have um, Boston and Washington connected. New York is connected to charlotte which is great hopefully in the future with other things as well because new york needs to grow but washington can be connected to atlanta sure and then maybe i can have another circle you know yeah or something else we'll see maybe washington atlanta and then from washington to montreal yeah why not we'll see we'll see 
many things are possible, but certainly we want to connect Washington to more cities. So let's do it. So here, because look, here we have Charlotte and New York, which are the next ones. And then we have Savannah and Boston, which is great. But we need another one for Washington. And Atlanta seems like a great fit. Okay. Um, so here is the question now. Washington, in this case, is going to have to have a crossing on the X. And uh, my setup for the station was done so that if there is such... We have to come to the right and then go back because here there are signals and signals might block the setup. Which means we're going to start with a new line here in Washington. So let's just add the other stations as well. Let's go to Atlanta. Okay. Cool. For now, you know, in the future it might grow. And here in Washington, considering that we're going to have to make an X, I want to take 11. Okay, let's take 11. Uh, you can take the other ones as well. I think it's 11, uh, maybe 14 as well. Or I give it all of them. But certainly have to be on the right, you know? Hmm, do I give it the rest as well? Yeah, I think I can give them to you. Because I don't have any signals there, that will be alright. But not, I guess, the one super forward, because you're going to block the whole... No, I will just give you 11 and 14. Just 11 and 14 for now. And then in Atlanta, we should do the same. We should take, in this case, is 3. And then 6. Okay, and this is going to be... ICR and it's going to be wash to Atlanta and maybe I will add more stations on this route we'll see in the future how it goes uh, last but not least of course is to buy two of those guys and add them to wash to Atlanta Cool. Now maybe we're going to um, relieve some of the passenger pressure on the CSRs. Because people are trying to pass through other, like to come from Washington to Charlotte and then from Charlotte to Atlanta, which I think currently they even can't do it, no. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we connected Washington to Atlanta. Which is uh, great. I think in the future this might become another circle, as I said. Uh, it's going to be like, I don't know, Atlanta, Nashville, and then Pittsburgh, something like that. We will see. We will see. Uh, yeah. I want to have a connection between Charlotte and Atlanta as well. But I have to think more about it, to be honest. We can also have... Uh, a super long line from Boston to Charlotte to Miami, for example. Why not? Kind of makes sense, I guess. Maybe, maybe. There is so many possibilities, you know, but we have to see how it goes with the current setup. What else can I do? Uh, I think Tampa definitely needs more connections. We already have... Charlotte has a few. Washington has a few. Uh, Savannah definitely has some. I think Tampa. Tampa can... Hmm, what about Miami and Panama? Miami and Panama. Let's see. Miami and Panama and then Panama to Houston. But I also... One thing I wanted to do is like the same way I have a circle here for um, the commuter service, I wanted to have a circle for uh, trains, uh, ICRs as well, intercity trains, jumping over one station. Hmm. And that means Savannah is going to connect to, maybe not to Nashville. Hmm. But to New Orleans, New Orleans, Savannah, and then 
close to... Can you give me a little bit more? No, you cannot. Okay, so from, from New Orleans to Austin and then Austin to Atlanta. Hmm. No, Austin to Atlanta, that's kind of far. But maybe Atlanta to Oklahoma, Oklahoma to Houston, Houston to Panama. Something like that, yeah, but I'm not going to do it now. I, I will do it when I have the connected the other cities. Hmm. Yeah, but I think Tampa and New Orleans I can connect. Hmm. Miami. If I connect Panama and Houston, they will be in the circle. Maybe I can connect Panama and then... Panama and Atlanta, they don't have a connection. Why don't I add one? And Atlanta and Charlotte as well, so this can be one line. And then Charlotte, Tampa. Tampa, Charlotte. Charlotte, Atlanta, and then it returns. Oh, I think that becomes a really nice one. Um, It's going to have some unfortunate crossing of the X, but I think, I think that works pretty well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I love it. Okay, I will show you. So, let's start a new line. And the new line is going to start from Miami to Panama to Atlanta and then Charlotte and from Charlotte Tampa and from Tampa back to Charlotte back to Atlanta And back to Panama. And back to Miami. Oh, I love it. Ah, yeah, actually the last one, apparently, of course. I do not need to add. Okay. Let's see. Miami. Uh, in Miami, it doesn't matter. Just whatever is free. In this case, it's seven. Seven is free. And... Everything but one and two. Five, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go to Panama. Uh, can I click on this and just manage my... Yeah, but I have to see the rest. Well, it is what it is. Uh, Panama. We are going right, so let's take... 16 is taken, so let's take 13. And then it should be 11 to 16, right? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Alright. Let's continue to Atlanta. We're coming from here, right? I think so. That's line 1. Are you going back? I, I, I feel like it's going back, right? You know how we can find out? Yeah, it is not going back. It's going forward. Right? No, only here is going back. Ah, uh, so it chooses for some of the terminals to go back. Interesting. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, um... Hmm. I think we can add more waypoints. Here in... why not another one? Here. So, after Panama, please come to the waypoint. I'm pretty sure I clicked it, but maybe I didn't. Okay, so now it's not going back, right? No, only forward. Beautiful. Okay, let's go to Atlanta. Uh, no, 8 is definitely not... What do we have here? We have... That's a, the wrong view. Uh, not 17, 12. 12 is free. 12. And again, it should be... 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Awesome. Charlotte. Charlotte, we should end up in the right. 
in the right so let's take uh 14 14 and then it's one to six no but let's actually take only one one five and two one five two and yeah, let's not take the last one because this is a returning one i mean it's going to go back that's what i mean and then in tampa in tampa we should stop on the right okay which means three and six let's take three and then two five six two five and six so we stay on the right over here perfect and then we go back to charlotte and i think i might reuse the same 14 i don't know if it makes sense let's let's not for now although eventually i will have to have um lines stopping in the same terminals it's inevitable let's take 11 it's free so why not and then it's two five and four as well two four and five and then we go to atlanta in atlanta we should go to the right uh one is taken and from atlanta where do we go to panama okay so we can go to four and then one to six as well okay and then from panama where are you going let me see are you trying to return no in this case no i guess can i actually exit from here are you are or are you not okay this looks good yeah yes you are yes you are so i will have to give you the waypoint that i added on the other side so from atlanta at station over here perfect and then in panama we are moving on the right so one is taken we can take four and then it's one to six right one two three four five six seems so oh oh that's unfortunate okay this this happens it's going to take me some time now because these are super difficult to connect And sometimes the game just doesn't want to do it. Oh, come on game, don't do this to me. Everything was going flawlessly. You see? Terrible. Oh, I almost... Do you see? Ah, there we go. Okay, now it works as we can see. Come on. You see that sometimes you think that your stations are finished, but they aren't. Oh, there we go. And now everything works flawlessly. Yeah, we stop here. We use all the terminals. Perfect. And this is going to be ICR. And what do I call this? This is kind of in the southeast. Oh, oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. We can call this, I don't know. Again, Southeast Circle? No, because the other one is going to be called like that. We can just call this uh, Tampa Charlotte. No. Florida Circle. I don't know. Yeah, Florida. Florida East Coast was that so Florida Circle. Okay, Florida Circle and then this and it's going to be Nah, that's going to be because it's not from Miami to Charlotte. It's from Miami, Panama, Atlanta, Charlotte, Tampa, and then the oh, the other way around. Hmm. Yeah. That's it. 
Cool. Uh, we have eight stops in, uh, disregarding the waypoints, obviously. So that means eight trains. So let's do it. Uh, eight trains. Eight. And put them into Florida Circle. It's not really a circle. But if you guys actually have please suggestions, give me better names. Naming things is terrible. Even uh, at work is the most difficult things that you can do. I'm a software engineer, by the way. So naming variables is like the, the worst thing that you can do. It's, it's impossible. You never name them properly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, giving names is hard. Okay, this is looking good. I do like it a lot. Uh, hmm, what else? So Tampa is now connected to Panama, Charlotte, and not to Atlanta though. Is that a problem? Hmm. If I connect it to Atlanta, how would it be? Maybe it can be. Maybe it can be New Orleans and then something else here. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, technically, Tampa can be connected to Atlanta and to New Orleans, to both of them. Questions, questions. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be for the next video, I guess. For now, let's see how we're doing here. Oh, we don't have super overloaded stations, which is interesting. Our towns are growing again, which is amazing. Still, let's see how we're doing with cargo. Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's pause just because these guys are moving too fast. Okay, Savannah. Savannah is having too many people on the SE clock. The finances are good. Let's see how the SE clock is doing. So the SE clock has uh, another station here. So this one has a ton of people as well. We have 396, 26, 8. So Atlanta and Savannah need a connection of their own or something. Hmm. Interesting, right? I think this guy is also in a C clock, yeah, but there's not that many people here. Maybe it's because these two are connected to the other ICRs and people want to take them. So when I connect more stations here and make more uh, intercity train lines, we are going to have less traffic on the on the IC clock because as you can see, the other stations are not that overloaded, yeah. Especially here. Hmm. Yeah, this will take some time for sure. Maybe in the next episode I will actually expand over here. Yeah, um, at least we are not camping people, but there is some stations that would certainly need more. Uh, some stations, some lines that are going to need more trains or longer trains or any any combination of the sorts. Commercial 2. So apparently New York people want to go to purchase things, which makes sense. Okay. Um, that's all for today, folks. Tell me, what do you think of the new passenger lines? What do you think of the new station design? What do you think of the changes in general? Let me know in the comment section. Give me all your inputs, advices and recommendations. I'm happy to read them all. I'm sorry for delaying a little bit. I will try to give you more episodes than even once per day now, just to bring the series back to speed. Also, last but not least, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one, guys.